Hey guys, good morning, happy Sunday. Today I wanted to show you how to create a bleed effect within the create software for StarCraft Solo. Um, so if you are moving from Cricut Design Space to Solo, there is, er, yeah, to, to the create software, there is a bit of a difference in different things and the create software is a little harder to learn however there's so many more features to it that really it's awesome and beneficial for um, you to use a create software it's way more accurate there's so many good benefits to using create versus uh, Cricut Design Space however there is a learning curve with it so I just wanted to let you guys know that but on to how to create a um, a bleed onto it okay so with the sticker specifically stickers with different colored backgrounds now if you have a white colored background it really doesn't apply since your background is going to be white as well so you want to upload your design and this is what it automatically is going to pop up with the layers um, and I can show you how to tell it what to do in a second but um, for now, you want to right-click your design, go to Appearance, Add Shadow Layer, and we're going to change this to Rounded. If it's not rounded, sometimes this can be like squared off, so Rounded is the best option. Blackout to fill in any gaps that could possibly be there, and we're going to change our color to black. You can see it changed on the outside there, which is perfect. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. And you can see this is out of the group. So we're just going to move this back into the group. So it's all within the same group. And, um, and then this is how you tell it what to do. So the shadow layer, which I just created right here, we are going to change that to print. So when we click Create, it's going to send it to our printer and it's going to print this entire outline. This design also, which are all the words, we're going to keep it on print. And then this, we're going to keep it on cut. So if I kind of highlight over here, I'm going to zoom, zoom in a little bit. You can see the inner red line is right here. You can see that is what I just created. The inner, or I'm sorry, that was the original, um, the inner red line. Now the outside line is not the cut line anymore. That is the print line because remember, that's this uh, layer right here. And we change that to the print. Um, so that is going to create an extra bleed. Now if we don't have that, it, it will still print fine. However, sometimes if your um, software or your uh, machine is not calibrated 100% correctly, it could create a little bit of white borders. And we don't want that. So this is my go-to every single time. I I know some people call it creating a stroke. Um, I call it creating a bleed because that's, I guess, my terms from, um, you know, from learning Cricut. So anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys. I really appreciate your support and thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great Sunday.